Ha! I in no way own, make any profit off, and or anything to do with whatever song comes on the radio that I'm playing at this time. Copy. Oh, man, it's good going. So I'm back in the bus. Now, this is a video for a very special but impatient friend. so much attention to detail, I hope you can hear me, is that, you know, a tenth of an inch here, you turn that radio down, I bet you're not hearing me, and a uh, quarter of an inch there, by the time you end, you're off two, three inches, and it never works out, so I really got to pay strict attention to detail, especially in this phase. What did I say a long time ago? And I got a couple of videos um, pending. I've just been having a uh, rat's ass attitude. Well, uh, you know, the things are looking up for me and this and that. So I'm starting to really, and this has got to pay off. It's more fun than sitting around watching YouTube. <laughs> did I say that? You can't see me, can you? Anyway, so I gotta get these scenes straight. And I've developed a process to where I can skin them. This is what I call skinning. And uh, where I can get a good skin out. What is part of it right now? I'm telling you, I could probably patent this process to get, you know, the, the max material out of a pair of old jeans that one can manage. Let's see. And by the way, I've got my, uh, got my windows on this side all weather strips so now it can work in the bus a lot easier before in the night man the winds start blowing and they get cold and the winds blow right through these dang windows and i freak my butt off you know out here working now that my brother out of the kindness of his heart you know help me uh Black on black pen. <laughs> um, now I got you know, it's more conducive to working out here. This kid probably got cold in this big old metal bus. So, and 
that's the time it takes. I do a video on how I split the seams, but man, I mean, it takes, depending on the garment, depending on the pants and the quality, you know, it takes me two hours to split out a pair of pants. Or, you know, it can take me half an hour, depending. Everything has to be straight. they hit Rupert the Magic Bus, they're done. No, otherwise I'd never be making anything. So, you got a bunch of jeans that you don't want to throw away, but you can't wear. You know, I can make a quilt out of them. And uh, then they last a good 24 years, because, you know, what does the quilt go through? This takes a lot, a good time. I don't mind it because, you know, I got nothing better to do new. It's fun and, you know, it challenges my mind. You know? And, uh, wow, this is challenging. I might do that again. See what I mean? That good. I used to have a bike, a motorcycle called Black Betty. Tell you what, if I wasn't doing 90, I was at a stop sign on that bike. I love that bike. I'd like to get me another bike. I don't know if that's in the cars. You know? But I've got this down to a science where I can really, you know, reutilize repurposed old nasty jeans. Several different colors I can use, different colored jeans, cut mark, different mark cut, and whatever. Real good at embroidery. But you know, I need a high 
Okay, a bunch of noise. Here, I'll show you. It's over here. Ah. See, this for you, Evan. <laughs> I got your stuff coming on. There we go. See, these are the maps I make. You know, because I got to get a centerpiece, and that, that judges the whole quilt. And then you do your trim according to whatever centerpiece. I'll show you the centerpiece. See, they wanted this centerpiece. See? This was a nightmare to strip. To skin this pair, man, I went through hell. But since this is my centerpiece and it has like 46 inches, and then I got to come out to uh, 60, that determines, you know, the whole thing. So like I say, you know, the first cut is the deepest. And that's how I do it. Simple, quick. Yeah, got a third eye going. <laughs> and, uh, but you, it's time consuming. So, there it is. The map to your quilt, buddy, right there. We'll have it done probably in the next two or three days. And then I'll start on another one. And uh, as you go, you get better. Block the sun. Okay, lots of sun on the back. Anyway, as I go, you get better and this and that. So that's what's going on in Rupert the Magic Bus. Then after this quilt, dude, I'm going to have to start making some uh, rag rag. I've had a lot of people waiting a long time. Or yellow rag rags for uh, Fukushima. I'm gonna go ahead. I got maybe 60 rags I have to make. Those are pretty quick. Those I can, you know, I get real good. I got my setup. We'll get that done. What I need is a pattern, right? I got a couple of things that so drew me. A couple of other things. See, like this, I'm going to put this on the top of the hat. But people aren't realizing that the hat, when I go like this, because it's going to go on top of your head, this will be upside down. And I need it to sit like that. But if it sits like that, see, it'll be upside down and this won't be. I need it kind of backwards and that kind of, that's where I'm, I'm stuck on the hat. And that's an update. The work. What's going on in Rupert, the magic bus, in which the company Rag Rags exists. All right, guys, there it is. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye. Got me. What a bug. Oh. Mmm. Good coffee. <coughs> All right. La, la, la. Thank you.